pick? I mean, uh, one-handed, why are you being blocked? Um, it was my first pick, but I didn't think I was going to catch the pick at first. I was trying to get off the block. He kind of had me caged, and then when the ball bounced off my arm, I got free and I felt like I could catch the ball, and I caught it. So it was some unbelievable stuff that I did. Um, I just got a stinger. Um, we obviously was doing bad tackling in the first half. Coach um, hit on that in the in a um, halftime little meeting, so I decided, you know, I got to get better at tackling, so I had to fit them up. And then we got a fumble, so we all was happy. Um, you know, my mom them is actually here, and it was in the stands, so it was like a lot going on. I just, the first thing I thought about was my mom, and I went to the end zone, and you know, thank God for me being here and this, having this opportunity to get with my brothers. And I'm just happy I can capitalize. I should have had two, but it happens. Um, it's just a competitive spirit, you know. You never want your defensive coordinator, your corner coach, say y'all not doing good at tackling. So it hit home for all of us, and he was pretty upset about it. And we go ride with those guys to the end because we love them as like their own. So we all start doing better at tackling. Was the drive after the pick? Yeah, the You know, I seen the tight end um, coming out. My my motto is since I'm smaller, I gotta hit him before he see me. So I kind of caught him. I kind of caught him in where he kind of didn't see me or what he did. And I didn't think we had a fumble, but I just seen everybody get hype, and then I'm happy Chad got him to play. Dennis, where do you feel like this team is? I mean, heading into SEC play. Um, we very raw. We finding out what we can do as we playing. Um, this week of preparation got to be um, big for us because, you know, we're finna go into Auburn. That's a tough environment. Um, SEC play is what we all came to the SEC for, to play versus people who we feel closer to the next level. But we're just going to keep getting better and everything, just take it day by day. When you guys get a stop on defense and force a punt and you see Luther return it, I mean, is that like an extra reward for what you guys did on defense? Um, yeah, I was on the field as well, you know, because I'm a gunner. Yeah. So I was just happy. I was like, I'll please pick it up because I already had the edge set if he picked it up. Um, he made a veteran move as a rookie and picked it up, and he got missing. And we, I, I'm just happy because when I was running down the field, I noticed everybody was straining to get an extra block for him. And we, we happy that he got it because, you know, that's what he's known for. And just, can you talk about the importance of the gunner and how valuable it can be on punt return? Because especially on Luther's touchdown, I mean, the whole right side of the field was wide open. That was it. I mean, it was hard to um, think you guys get down the fast enough. It was great coaching by um, – Coach Link and Coach Loop as the returners, um, coaches, because they give them the one bounce rule, but they also don't want the ball to go past you because it's creating a um, negative field position for the offense. So Luther made a smart move by standing there and being patient, and he looked up before he took it to see if he had enough space to um, field it. And after that, it was just him making the play. But um, as a gunner, you know, we just trying to buy him time because he's an athlete back there. Can you elaborate a little bit just on, on being a gunner and going from playing defense to making blocks and, and just being in a different situation on the field? What's it like for you? Does it feel different for you when you're out there? Um, the biggest thing for me is fatigue. Um, obviously, you know, you're getting a stop on the defense, and when you think you can run off the field and get a break, you still got to be out there for special teams. But special teams, is, um, our DNA, it got to be our DNA. We've been messing up on it. So, you know, I'm up for the challenge, and I just want to get better in the special teams. Uh, I would assess myself. Me, I'm hard on myself, but I assess myself as I be in position sometimes, and sometimes I, we play a certain coverage, so it might look like I'm in in position on my on this man, but it's not me. But I I really don't really I don't look at it like that. I'm just want us all to be good and eat together. It's like like I say, the camera catch you in a glimpse, and people think it's you, and it maybe not. But as long as we like we said, we all we got. So do anything for this team, no matter how bad I look or anything. I got them. Talking about your road to recovery, how have supporters like your mom and your family been such a vital part in that? Because you mentioned them as soon as you said they helped with your recovery. Um, you know, my mom was always trying to be positive, but, you know, as a son, I could see her face that she was kind of devastated because we'd never been in this situation. Um, but she just 
remain confident in me, even though it was tough times. So I had to owe it to myself where my mom can sit here and act like everything's okay. I know everything's gonna be okay. And I got, it's it's me versus me at that point. We got a great support staff and, um, here. People like Molly, she always checked up on me. Um, Drink checked up on me, you know, down in the training room. They always made sure I was straight every day. And we got after it. It was painful, but I'm here now.